Do you have mice in your chicken coop or know somebody who does? Well, I have the cost effective solution for you. Let's do this. First up, what you're gonna need is some sort of like little Tupperware container. It doesn't have to be like Tupperware brand because that's expensive. I got like a three pack from Dollar Tree for $1.25 and they work perfectly. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to get rid of mice. So, yep, just any kind of like Tupperware little container thing. Next up, you're gonna need some sort of marker, just whatever you have lying around your house will work because it's not something super important, but you just mark on the side of the container, you make a little square, and that is what you're going to cut in the little Tupperware container. So, I mean, you actually don't need the Sharpie or whatever you use. Um, it's just so you kind of have an idea of where you're gonna cut. And then obviously to cut it, you're gonna need some sort of knife or something sharp. And if you're too young, get a parent to do it. <laughs> but yes, you need something sharp to cut it. Just pretty much all you do is just cut out the square and you have the container that the mice or even rats, whatever, are gonna crawl into to get to this stuff, this concoction we're gonna make. Now, when I tell you guys that this stuff works great, I mean it, it is so good. I've had mice appear like a lot, but I've dealt with them twice this way and they've disappeared for a while. Like no signs of them or anything. So you guys should definitely at least give it a try. I don't know how to work with you, but for me, it has worked amazing. So what you're gonna need is baking soda and Jiffy cornbread mix, which are both relatively cheap. Uh, you can find them anywhere. And so what you're gonna do is have equal parts. So it depends what kind of container you use because you can do a big one if you have like big rats and stuff, but like we have mice, so we use the little ones. So it's equal parts. So you, we did, I think, a half a cup of baking soda and half a cup of the corn mix. Uh, but you could go all the way to like, you know, five cups and five cups if you have a massive container. It's really whatever size container you have. Oh, and make sure you mix it together well, just because you don't want the mice understanding that it's baking soda. So if it's mixed together, they'll just like scarf it down, you know, and which the reason that this kills them is that mice cannot burp or fart, so they can't let out any gas. So when they eat the baking soda, it goes down into their stomach and the acidity in their stomach makes the baking soda bubble in there. And, you know, it just kind of is like a balloon when you blow it up too much. It just so yeah, it has worked so well. And I've even a couple times found my chickens eating mice that were already dead. Like the chickens didn't catch them. They were just already dead around. And I, when you have chickens, you do not want to use poison. You want to try to do the most like kind of natural way. And this way, cause chickens can let out gases. So like if you have a dog, chickens, all that, um, if they get into it, you don't have to worry. So it could literally be in your chicken run and it doesn't matter because the chickens can eat it and they will be completely fine. Um, or if a dog gets to it, because my dog loves to find stuff. So she's dug up a couple of them and she found them because I had them under like grass and stuff to make it look like a little bit of a cubby hole with food for the mice. But she literally ate like a whole one and she was fine so it works okay so next up you just want to basically put it out wherever you guys have the mice the most because like obviously i see mine around my food bins i've even had a mice a mouse chew through one of my food containers it's like just a plastic garbage can which it was pain in the butt but I've had my chew through those. So I stuck one behind my garbage can. I stuck one in my chicken coop. 
which I don't think the chickens have gotten to it yet, so they haven't noticed, and it must not be that appetizing to them, but I've stuck them in so many places. You could stick them in your garden if you have problems with mice in there. You can, wherever you see mice the most is where you put these things, and the mice will find them, and the mice will eat a lot of it, or even all of it, who knows? They'll eat a lot of it, and you'll be able to tell that they're in there if you see uh, mouse poop and stuff, which is kind of just an obvious sign of mice, and you know? But, yes, basically if you see mouse poop, you know they've eaten it, and you know that your mouse problem should go down. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that bell and comment down there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.